Well, it's Sunny's turn for Throwback Thursday. And, well, she's my sleeper. That's right. Sunny! Sunny! to our throwback Thursday and that's where you guys are getting to know each and every one of my cloud kids yep you get to find out their little stories and where we show little video clips and well that is what throwback Thursday fun is all about is throwing it back kind of going back to some younger times on the channel and today's throwback Thursday baby she's in a onesie I did not find her no bottoms but is Sunny. <laughs> I forget how heavy Sunny actually is, but is a Sunny today. And Sunny is my Emerson kid, an authentic um, reborn. But before we get to um, basically um, about Sunny, um, a couple of quick updates is I will be going live. Uh, why did I say, was that not creepy? live <laughs> I am resorting back to some of my old school ways this month you guys I don't know why it just we're kind of throwing it back all month and so I there was a time that it'd be late at night, maybe I couldn't sleep, or maybe I worked late, or something, and I would go ahead and film you guys a video. So that is actually what we are doing. I am actually filming this Throwback Thursday late Tuesday night. <laughs> late Tuesday night. And so we, so if I talk a little funny, that is why. I actually have already, this is my second video I filmed you guys. I am going to be out of town on Sunday and Monday. And so I am doubling up on videos a day. So early this morning we filmed Wreck-It Wednesday. And which was, oh, it was a sad moment. And so tonight we are doing a throwback Thursday. And so we will be going live on Saturday, 5.30 p.m. Central for all my Cloud Insiders and 6 o'clock p.m. for everyone else. And this week's Maddie Monday is what is your favorite Thanksgiving food? Or if you don't celebrate Thanksgiving, what's your favorite autumn food? We'll do just fine. If you don't celebrate Thanksgiving, it's okay. It's all in good fun. You don't even have to have a Maddie to participate. If you just want to get on there and say... I like turkey, pumpkin pie, and da, da 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 and you have an avatar, baby. I don't care. It's all a good fun. So just have fun with it. If you like the theme, do it. Any week, I say do it. It's all in good fun. And so I do also have happy mail on its way. So you guys will have a bonus video of some happy mail. And let's see, what else? Our birthday wall and our thankful wall. I just want to give a shout out and thank you to everybody that's participating. And if you stay tuned till the end of the video, then you will see your shout out. Because I want to put all our happy, thankful wishes out in the universe for positive, happy vibes. And then I also want to share all my magical birthday wishes with you guys. And I hope you guys get everything that your heart desires for the month of November. So... On to our throwback Thursday. <laughs> Is my ponytail okay? All right, you guys. I'm wearing a high pony. And every now and then I feel like it's looking a little funny. And it probably is. And you guys know me. If it is, that's okay. We're just going to roll with it anyway. That's right. We're just going to roll with it anyway. <laughs> I feel like a dodo bird. Isn't that the ones that prehistoric or something they used to have the top of Anyway. Just being silly. I told you it's late at night. So this week's throwback Thursday is Sunny. So before we go on to Sunny's story, let's go ahead and see her and 
boxing. remember that day with Sunny. I do, you guys. So, Sunny was my first happy mail that I got that was from somebody that wasn't like here local, a friend, maybe somebody I worked with, uh, or somebody like that, or Nanny. Um, so, it was my first, I say Nanny was my first happy mail because um, we didn't do Blossom, but Blossom was actually before Sunny, but Blossom is part of my, like, rag dolls, and we'll probably do the, that series of my, them other kind of dolls that I have, my Cabbage Patches and things like that, after we finish all my Reborns, so I'm only focusing on the Reborns, and so Sunny was, like, my first official box opening, and I remember whenever I got Sunny, um, I had made a video of a Maddie, and I had ordered in a Maddie, and she was only, you know, I really regret that I reacted the way I did. I'm going to say that now. At the time, I didn't think about it, but now that I think about it, I wish I wouldn't have. I wish I would have gave um, the little doll a chance. In my mind, I wanted a Maddie. Like you guys see, I'm blessed with uh, a blessed with a lot of Maddies, and so she wasn't what I envisioned my dream Maddie to be. Maddie was like a dream sculpt. When I first started collecting, I would see Maddies, and I'd be like, I'm going to eventually get one, but they were so expensive uh, when I first started collecting, and so anyway, I ordered her in, and she was a scam baby. She was from Timu, and she was just a little mini Maddie, and I, I just... I didn't bond with her. As soon as I saw her, I was like, this is not what I ordered. I wish I wouldn't have did this because I did. I bit, I just went ahead. I had waited so long to order her. And then when I ordered her, I got that in. I was very disappointed. I didn't know what I was looking for. Now I know the difference. At the time, I was still new into it. I did not know what I was looking for. I didn't look at her inches. If I would have looked at her inches, I would have saw she was going to be a mini. Um, you know, just different things that I would look at now. And so the the my Dolly Angel, which is my original Dolly Angel, was my first ever Dolly Angel. I have several Dolly Angels because um, that's what I kind of look at when um, they want to stay anonymous and they don't care. They don't want their name seen. They they don't really care to even be known that they did. I call them Dolly Angels because well they are. They're like guardian angels. That's just like. You know, here, let me just give you a little boost behind the scenes. And and so this particular Dolly Angel was my original Dolly Angel. And we became really good friends. And I haven't heard from her in a while. So if you end up watching this Dolly Angel, I would love to just hear that you're doing okay. But anyway, um, she reached out to me and asked if she could send me Happy Mail. And I was like, Sh sure. You know, I, I honestly didn't know how to respond. And, um... Uh, and so when I got her in, you guys saw my reaction. I was blown away because she is a genuine artist rendered doll, like an artist rendered doll. She's not a replica. She's not from Timu and there's nothing wrong with it. By the way, when I say that there's nothing wrong with that because most of my dolls are Timu. Most of them are Timu. I do have a few AliExpress. But I'm telling you, most of my collection is replicas. So when I say that, please don't 
think I'm say, knocking it because I'm not. I'm just saying I never I never owned a artist reader doll to even see one, to feel the texture on the skin, to know what it was even like. A weighted doll at that. I had Penelope and I had Joshua, but I didn't really have a weighted doll like this. Like she is like weighted, okay? And as you guys saw, I was blown away by Sunny. Blown away. And so she was like my first um, official re artist render doll. And she looks so real. And she still looks so real to me. Um, if a person just happened to see me maybe holding her a certain way, maybe while she would be sleeping, they would think I would be holding a toddler while the toddler slept. And so, I love Sunny. And another thing about Sunny is Sunny was my first and only doll out of my whole collection of dolls that you guys are seeing one by one that has a middle name. That's right. If you guys notice, none of my dolls have middle names. I have a hard time coming up with their first names, much less a middle name to go with it. Do you know how many, what's common middle names? I would have <laughs> most of my girls and most of my boys would probably have that but Sunny was the first one that I went ahead and gave a middle name and her name is Sunny Dawn that's right and so she was my first ever doll I did that with and the only doll I've ever done that with is Sunny and so yeah I don't do a lot with Sunny you guys don't see me doing a lot I love holding Sunny she really does seem like just a big... If I had to guess, I would say that Sunny is... Um, in my eyes, okay, Sunny has a little bit of Down Syndrome because of the way she looks. I don't know if this particular sculpt is supposed to have that, but to me, Sunny looks like she might have a little bit of a Down Syndrome, so she is my Down Syndrome baby, I consider her. And I think of her like she's probably about two years old, you know, and she's still a baby though, you know, and so that's okay. That's okay. I just love Sunny. And so that is pretty much Sunny. I don't mess with her a lot because she's very expensive doll and she is an artist render doll. And so I don't really want to mess her up. I don't want to mess up her texture or her paint or her hair or anything. So Sunny is one that does not get messed with often. But I do love her, and I do enjoy her. And I actually need to bring her out, I think, and make a video with her. Because I do have her. I need to enjoy her. You know, I don't know if you guys are like that, but with my artist render dolls that are legit artist render, I don't do that much with. I set them up, and I do every now and then change them or hold them or make a video with them. But overall, um, I don't reach for them the most out of my dolls. Most of my dolls I reach for is my replicas and stuff. And I think some of that is because I'm fearful of messing them up. You know, messing up their paint, messing up their texture, messing up their hair, doing something, you know, because, um, I, first of all, the artist put a lot of work into the doll. And second of all, um, it, it costed money. It costed a lot of money. Artist render dolls are not cheap, you guys. Um, and so I find myself doing that. But you know, when I do pull them out and I do hold them, like tonight, I'm sitting here holding Sunny and I'm looking at her and I'm absolutely falling head over heels in love with her again, you know, because it's been a while since I just sat and held her like this, just sat and held her in my arms. And so I'm falling in love with her again. And I, I remember now how fun it was to just hold Sunny, just like this, to just hold Sunny. She, you know, she was so comforting to me. And so, the reason I'm saying that is, I need to just get over that. I need to get over that. I need to start bringing out my artist render dolls as much as I do my replicas. Because I'm not going to mess them up. I'm not, uh, if it's a skit that's going to require them to get a little messy, of course I won't use my artist render dolls. But I really do need to film with them more. I really do. I do, because I miss holding them. And then when I hold them, I hold them for a little bit. Because I'm afraid of messing them up. And then I gently put them right back where I had them. And it's like, I should mess with them more. I think I'm gunning. Also, I have more videos with Sunny. <laughs> All my artists render dolls. But anyway, you guys. 
it's not a very long video and well I just wanted to tell you guys about Sunny that she she will always Sunny is one of my forever dolls that's right we've already discussed this as we're going through um, this I gotta stretch my legs out you guys as I'm going through all of my cloud kids and you guys are gonna see them one by one I'm gonna let you guys know the ones that I plan on keeping forever or some that I might either give away in a happy mail later later on or maybe a giveaway one month giveaway or something I tried to give away once a month um, and so Sunny here will never be given away or um, anything she is a forever doll um, so she was a, a wonderful gift sent to me by a wonderful 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 human being and so um, it made me realize the generosity of people I didn't know what this community was like um, I know there's a good and a bad to everything you guys and so there is a bad side to this community too <laughs> But Rebecca, don't talk about it because I'm not going to get involved in it. I like this side. I like this side where we just get together and we have fun. We talk about our dolls. We show off our dolls. We dress our dolls. We play with our dolls. We do skits with our dolls. And so, um, yeah, it, it just, it showed me that there's good people out there and not everybody is bad. And there's the generosity of you guys and I say you guys because I've had many dolly angels that you guys are going to be seeing um, their babies as I get to them I will um, shout out the ones that gets that is not anonymous and the ones that are anonymous will remain anonymous um, and it just kind of it just it, it did it showed me a kindness and generosity and me and nanny is so thankful you guys um, it's late, so I'm probably rambling, but we really are. Me and Nanny really are thankful of you guys, of you guys, because you became like family to us. Um, we try to include you in our lives as much as we can, and Nanny loves you guys to death, also, and so do I. And you guys have welcomed us, the good side of the reborn community. You guys have welcomed us with open arms, and we love you guys so very much. And well. Sunny here kind of started that thinking for me because it showed me people care. You know, she told me that it broke her heart um, whenever about the Maddie. You know, it did. It broke her heart. Um, and I didn't mean to do that. That wasn't why I made that video. So, um, like I said, I haven't taken it down because I think people need to see that I'm human too. And, you know, I... I have emotions and sometimes it's hard to contain them but I haven't taken that video down but she said she just felt real bad about about that and I didn't mean to do that for that reason um, but it was kind and it was generous and it just it showed me that there's a good side you know and so ever since then I I try very hard um, I may not be able to do a lot for you guys financially because I'm not gonna lie me and nanny's on a very tight budget and we financially struggle that's why I work so hard on my videos you guys I'm trying to turn this into where I could stay home with nanny and take care of nanny and be able to make it too and so um, I had a total brain fart and I don't remember where I was going with that <laughs> I really don't remember where I was going with that. Um, so anyway, it must mean it's time for me to end this video because I'm just rambling at you guys. But the reason I'm rambling at you guys the way I am is because Sunny is that doll for me. Sunny changed a lot of things for me the day I got her in. Well, the day I met my dolly angel and got her in, um, changed my channel and changed my life forever because now... I have beautiful dolly sisters and besties in the community and we all get together we have fun we play with our dolls and so that's the best thing it's the best thing best thing in life right how can you ask for anything more yeah that's, she's back asleep again you guys see what I mean about Sunny Sunny's my sleeper she sleeps through anything and she had a big din din 
So that's why she's just sleepy as I fed her a big dindin. Anyway, I'm going to end it, you guys. I'm sorry for rattling at you guys like I have. It's just sunny makes me feel very sentimental. Um, that was a very big moment for me and my channel. And Sunny is a big deal to me in my channel. And she will, I think it was just basically telling you guys, she's a forever doll for me. Um, Sunny will always remind me of the good. And so with that, I try to be good for you guys. That's where I was going with that. Figured it out. I just wanted to say I may not be able to do a lot one way, but I sure you guys know you got my heart. And I would do anything I would for any of y'all if I could. So that's what that basically showed me is kindness and so therefore I try to really spread the love to you guys that's right so until the next video everybody bye let me tell you about Rebecca's clown kids magical parties imagine comes to life every day is a joy no